Item number, SCP-4711. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-4711 is owned and operated by Foundation personnel as a typical 7-Eleven chain. SCP-4711 is to be staffed with no less than two Foundation personnel, who are to observe all standards set by the 7-Eleven Corporation. In order to reduce civilian exposure, SCP-4711 should be as unwelcoming as possible. SCP-4711's exterior is to appear disheveled and poorly maintained. Any non-Foundation personnel who makes mention of the anomaly, or appears to be distressed while within SCP-4711, is to be amnesticized and removed from SCP-4711. Description SCP-4711 is a 7-Eleven franchise convenience store located in Malaysia. From the outside, SCP-4711 bears no irregularities, and its anomalous properties manifest only when a subject is inside. Whenever a subject enters SCP-4711, products that the subject most prefers will spontaneously disappear. A majority of subjects, when viewing the anomaly directly, fail to notice the disappearance due to a mild memetic effect. When viewed from outside or via SCP-4711 security cameras, the disappearance of items is visible. Notably, the memetic effect carries through these methods of viewing. Tracking devices placed on or within items are left behind when items disappear. This disappearance effect is not only limited to foodstuffs, and is applicable to any items sold within SCP-4711. Items of the same type, flavoring, or brand as the preferred item will remain, but the specific item the subject most enjoys will not be present. See Addendum 4711-1. Additionally, when a subject attempts to use SCP-4711's restroom, the entrance will be locked, or the facilities themselves will be out of order. When a subject attempts to use the slushy machine or soda fountain, the machines will immediately fail to operate, or release only flavoring syrups. In the event that a subject carries multiple forms of payment, the registers will only accept the form they least commonly use. Addendum 4711-1 Testing Log Experiment 1 Subject D15431 Procedure D15431 is given 20 MYR and told to inform the researchers of what he intends to purchase before he enters SCP-4711. Footnote 1 MYR is the national currency of Malaysia. Subject is then instructed to enter SCP-4711 and purchase said item. Result. D-15431 tells researchers that he intends to purchase a bag of M&Ms. D-15431 exits the store eight minutes later with no items and complains to researchers that they only had peanut M&Ms. Note, D-15431 is allergic to peanuts. Experiment 2. Subject, D-15604 Procedure, D-15604 is asked what their least favorite snack food and drink is. Subject is then instructed to purchase each item, namely a bag of Lay's salt and vinegar chips and a 16-ounce bottle of cherry Coca-Cola. Subject is informed to purchase closest analogs if he cannot find the exact items. D-15604 is given 30 MYR to purchase said items. Results. D-15604 exits three minutes later with a bag of seven select brand salt and vinegar chips and a 12-ounce can of vanilla Coca-Cola. Items are later tested and deemed non-anomalous. Experiment 8 Subject D-13967 Procedure D-13967 is confined to a containment cell for 24 hours without food or water. Upon release, D-13967 is given 80 MYR and is instructed to enter SCP-4711. Result: D-13967 exits the store six minutes later with one half gallon of skim milk two days past its sell-by date, and complains to researchers that he hates skim milk. Additionally, D-13967 tells researchers that both the slushy machine was broken and that the soda fountain only dispensed flavoring syrup. Experiment 12 Preface Initial sweep of SCP-4711 was met with a short hiccup when a member of the recovery team found the door to the restroom to be locked. 
Upon failing to breach, another member of the recovery team attempted to open the door and was met with no resistance. The following test was to investigate the potential anomalous nature of the room. Subjects D15431 and D13967 Procedure D15431 is instructed to inform researchers when they require the restroom, and is then sent into SCP-4711 with instructions to utilize the store's facilities. D13967 is instructed to empty their bladder before the test. Result D15431 cannot enter the restroom, as the door is locked. D15431 reports hearing faint grunting from behind the restroom door. The sound could not be heard on security footage, and members of MTF Alpha 10 did not back up D15431's claim. D13967 is then instructed to attempt entry. The door is still locked. D15431 is then instructed to leave SCP-4711, and D13967 is ordered to re-attempt entry. Upon D15431's exit, the restroom door opens for D13967 with no hindrance, revealing an ordinary bathroom. Experiment 22 Subject D08915, chosen for their natural resistance to memetic agents. Procedure D08915 is given 80 MYR and is instructed to enter the store to purchase his favorite item. Result D08915 exits the store after 6 seconds in a state of distress. When interviewed, D08915 reports that the items evaporated right in front of his eyes. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Lesby Friends, Alexis Zagrate, Scrubversive, Everborn, and Totally Not a Femboy. And a huge thank you to my level 5 patron, Doomsday LLC Prints and Design. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.